welcome back students let's proceed with the explanation of the second stanza let's recite it on sour cream walls donations shakespeare's head cloudless at dawn civilized dome riding all cities belled flowery tyrolis valley open handed map awarding the world its world and yet for these children these windows not this map their world where all their futures painted with a fog a narrow street sealed in with a lead sky far far from rivers capes and stars of words on sour cream walls donations Shakespeare's head, cloudless at dawn, civilized dome, riding all cities, belt, flowery, Tyrolis valley, open-handed map, awarding the world its world. Students, as you have seen, that the world of these children comprises of the dull and unpleasant classroom. The classroom was not well maintained. it was painted with dull sar or you can say dull cream color with the help of donations somebody might have donated there is a portrait of shakespeare's painted on the wall also this is very ironical as we all know that shakespeare is a great man of literature and here in this classroom there is no serious teaching taking place cloudless dawn and civilized dome suggest a very sad and monotonous life in the slum the poet mentions tyrolis valley here because of its natural beauty bells flowers beautifully constructed dome shaped architecture the open handed map in the classroom gives a picture of a beautiful world outside these slums are surrounded by the civilized valley and the city all around them are concrete structures of the buildings but these children in the slum they will never be able to experience this beauty which is surrounding them their life in the slum contrasts with the cloudless sky at dawn and beautiful valley of sweet fragrant flowers is also giving a very ironical picture of their own life they are deprived of the beauty as they are curs to live in this slum amidst garbage and dirt the world which they see is not the real world their world is full of poverty and hunger their world is confined to narrow dusty streets of the slum further we see and yet for these children these windows not this map their world where all their futures painted with a fog a narrow street sealed in with a lead sky far far from rivers capes and stars of words ironically we can say that the map in the classroom gives them hopes and aspirations but they will never be able to see that world which is outside these children can only get a glimpse of the outside world from their windows and it is far beyond their reach these children are far away from the glory of natural beauty of the rivers mountains and stars of words means education here their world outside the classroom opens to a narrow dirty street which is sealed which has sealed their future their hope they are far away from the glory of natural beauty 
of the rivers, mountains, and stars of words means education. Their world outside the classroom opens to a narrow, dirty street which sealed their hope of future. Their lead sky is dark and dull and polluted which shows them no hope for their future, for their lives ahead. Here we see that their future is painted with a fog which shows a very dull and gloomy, no hope in their lives. Let us see the poetic devices. This poem does not have a rhyming scheme. It is in free verse. We can see metaphors being used here like sour cream walls. Here walls are described to be dull as sour cream and another metaphor narrow street sealed with the lead sky where we see that the future of these children is sealed or blocked. They are confined to this atmosphere of slum. Then we have assonance, which is a repetition of vowel sound words like belled, flowery, tyrolly, swally. So here we see that E sound is prominent. And far, far from rivers, we again see a repetition here. Far is used as a repetition.